Hey guys, how you doing today? I hope you said good. So today I'm just outside of Madison, Wisconsin, and if you've ever watched or appreciated the movie The Wizard of Oz, you might find this video interesting. Now I grew up about an hour from here and never knew about this connection until some recent research, but this is where Meinhardt Rob grew up, and uh, he's also laid the rest right here. So let's go check it out. The actor who played the Munchkin coroner in The Wizard of Oz has died. In the 1939 classic, Meinhardt Robbie makes this pronouncement after Dorothy's house lands on the Wicked Witch of the East. Now, Meinhard Robb was born September 2nd of 1915, not too far away from where I'm at right now. He grew up on a farm just down the road, although I couldn't find an actual address for the location. Otherwise, I'd take you to go and see it. Now, he was one of the last surviving munchkins from The Wizard of Oz, and he was the last surviving cast member who had any dialogue in the film when he passed away in 2010. He played the coroner who certified the death of the Wicked Witch. He stood three feet six inches tall and never heard the words midget or dwarf until young adulthood, and he had some struggles thinking he was alone in the world, and in 1933 he visited something called Midget Village at Chicago Century of Progress, and he found some camaraderie there and he took a summer job with the fair the following year. Soon after, he left to attend the University of Wisconsin-Madison, where he graduated in 1937 with a bachelor's degree in accounting, and later went to get his MBA at Drexel University. He was turned down by company after company until Oscar Meyer hired him as a salesman, and when he heard of casting for The Wizard of Oz, he immediately took a leave of absence from his position to audition for the role. Now, his iconic role was only 13 seconds long, and he was never officially credited in the film for his performance. Aside from doing talk shows and interviews later in life, he never took any other acting roles and went back to Oscar Mayer where he worked as a spokesperson for decades. And he became known as Little Oscar, the world's smallest chef, which you also might know him as. He traveled in the first Wienermobile and since there was little space for passengers, he was the perfect fit for the job. But aside from that, he also joined the Civil Air Patrol and became a skilled aviator during World War II and also becoming a ground instructor. Now, he met and married a cigarette girl who was the same height named Margaret, and the couple was married for 50 years until her passing from a car accident in 1997, and he spent the rest of his life living at Penny Retirement Community in Penny Farms, Florida, which is where he passed away on April 10th of 2010 at the age of 94. Now, even though he only had one role in his lifetime, it became a classic line and a memorable performance that people remembered his entire life. And he loved his connection to the Wizard of Oz, and he would always recite that line to people if they approached him on the street. But most people only know him for this, but he led quite an interesting life. And he also came up with the idea of selling canned sausages, which ended up helping feed soldiers during the war. But this is his final resting place right here. Now there is a little more to this video. Now I will take you back over here and this is where his parents are buried just two rows away from him. So there's little doubt that he knew this area very well. He would have been here many times to pay his respects and from the sounds of it he spent a pretty good amount of time here because you know as I said his his wife passed away in 1997 so 13 years before he did and he came back here and he was frequent a frequent guest at church just across the street which is where his funeral was also held which i'm going to take you to next and i don't know if we're going to be able to get in it looks like the parking lot's pretty empty but i'll at least show you the church because that's also the church he attended regularly now let's go take a look at the church Now this was Meinhardt Rob's church, and this is also where the funeral was held for him back in 2010. We'll take you around just to get a quick look at it here. It is closed, there's nobody here, 
but I just wanted to show you guys um, where it was at in relation to where his grave is, which is just right across the street over here. But this is an absolutely beautiful church. Pretty cool place, though. You know, a little bit of Hollywood history, kind of in the middle of nowhere. But this is where he attended church, and this is where his funeral was held. So he would have been taken just right out here. Now I hope you guys learned a little something from this video. If you enjoy history, Hollywood, and pop culture, be sure to hit that subscribe button for weekly videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day.